Welcome to renovation week, I don't know, 18 or 19. I have no idea what week we're on. Uh, I think my neighbour's in her garden watching me. I have just got to the house with Jas. It's actually Tuesday today. I have no idea what's going on. Jas and I have been at the house for a few hours this afternoon. Just before the builders left, we had a few little bits to discuss with them. So we've been working from the garden. I'm not naked, I am wearing a dress. He just, just looks like I'm naked from up here. Um, that would give the builders a show. Anyway, they are just like finalising a few bits. I think it's probably their last proper week here. But I did go upstairs very briefly and I haven't been since um, because I think they fitted my shower screen but I was getting in their way and they had loads of stuff at the top of the stairs so I said I'd get out of their way and now that they're gone I'm going to take you upstairs because I haven't seen it properly and it's very exciting. I'll take you upstairs and show you now. As you can see the house is still a tip. But Jas and I thought we would get here early today because we were here quite late last night um, painting. We thought we'd paint first and have dinner later. So let me take you upstairs. Da, 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 da. <gasps> it looks amazing! I'm so happy! And look at this tap! Oh my god, it looks so good with the black waist. Oh, it just looks so so nice in here oh i love it so much and the rainfall shower head hasn't gone in yet there's still quite a few little bits they've said that they need to do stuff that i wouldn't necessarily see so you know okay so just and i popped out for some dinner and we came back it's now dark as you can see i've just been painting this it was quite nice because i got to sit on the floor <laughs> on this we also did, sorry if, you can hear, sorry if you can hear the radio in the background, we also sanded this down but the sander we have is actually super loud and it is literally 32 degrees, it's so hot so we had to have the front door open, we're literally just dripping in sweat and we just thought it was too noisy but my plan is to basically paint that white and then I can do the masking tape and do the second coat of the black. There was quite a bit here that needed sanding because I put the paint on too thickly and a couple of days ago, maybe yesterday, I can't remember, I painted all of these bits black and the builder was like they should be white to match that and I totally agree because it kind of just brightens this all up a little bit, lessens the black and it just looks nicer overall. So I've done this, I've got a feeling the paint's on quite thick there as well, because I was trying to just do it all in one coat. This is why I'm really bad at painting, because I basically rush everything and, and I just want to slap the colour on there. So that's why I've kind of given myself these little bits to do that hopefully no one's going to be scrutinising, because why would you look down there unless you're just a strange person? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> It's really good. There's no vibrations down on grief. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks Enjoy. really good. Yeah, it looks really good. Third time lucky, eh? No, is that no square? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make it difficult for you. That's <laughs> where it's five minutes. Morning, 
it's Saturday today, Jess and I've been up since 6am again. We're just waiting for a kitchen fitter, so he managed to book me in today to get further along. He's obviously not going to do the whole thing until the worktops are in, but we've just been here for about an hour just tidying up after the builders because honestly, it looks like a bomb has hit this place. It was so messy. I've just remembered to vlog actually, so let me show you the kitchen before the guy gets here. This is what it currently looks like. <laughs> so it is a bit of a tip. I think he's gonna be fitting like the washing machine, maybe the doors for the drawers on this side, possibly this, this situation. And we have units that are gonna go here. So I'll be really glad if he fits those today because we've also got Virgin Media coming to the house today to do something with the internet. So we'll have internet as of today, hopefully. And oh, also the fridge, because then it just means that a lot of these boxes in here and in the living room just start to get cleared up. Like the builders piled all his stuff up here, which is great. Some of it's our stuff, some of it's like rubbish and recycling. And then they've put the ply in the living room here. This is a shelf that I need to return because I don't know, I think I filmed a time lapse of the builders putting the concrete shelf up here, but it actually arrived damaged and I've had it for ages. The box for the shelf has literally been sitting here for about two months and I, oh, I kept asking someone to take it out for me, to, for me to have a look at, but I just checked the colour, didn't take it out of the packaging and when they put it up, it's damaged, which is a bit of a shame, but I bought it from Amara and their customer service is really good, so they've asked me for some photos and I think they're going to replace it for me. Me, which is going to be amazing if they can and if they do do that the other thing is I don't know how I got these measurements so wrong because I bought a shelf um the largest size which is 120 centimeters and it overhangs by like a couple of centimeters on each side and the builders were like yeah it looks fine and I was like no it looks awful so I've asked them to like replace it for a smaller size I don't think I measured this myself I think I went on the builders measurements which would explain why I got it wrong um because normally I'm pretty good like that and I would have double and triple checked but clearly I didn't but I think you might have seen the time lapse for this a couple of days ago my irregular shaped mirror is finally up and it looks amazing I can't wait till this shelf is up this will all need to be like cleaned and um I, we were going to replace this as a whole thing but it's working out to be really expensive because when the builders removed it to do the gas fire they broke a little bit so he found out the cost of get, getting this repaired and he said I can either repair it or give you the money that it will cost me to repair it to put towards a new one. So I spoke to my worktop people and they gave me a really really good price actually to replace it. Well, give me your bag that's got a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me a bag with a hole in it, but... That's quite a nice little actually, spot. Actually, yeah. Dress. I don't know, it comes in handy, really. <laughs> oh, yeah, we cut the bottoms of those yeah. bags to, like, <clears throat> stick to the windows. Um, there's some more black bags there. It's a nice dress. dress is just... <laughs> it's actually a nice dress here, it's strapless. Well, it's not strapless. <laughs> you know, just need a bit of thingy. <laughs> just put a couple of, like, Tins watermelons or oranges yeah. in there for yeah. some thieves. That's so funny. Um... Anyway, so yeah, they gave me a really good price for replacing this, but the problem is, oh, the builder can't remove it because there's a gas pipe and the gas engineer's already been and we've got a certificate and blah, 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 blah. And the worktop people can't do it and for us to get a gas engineer back in to obviously remove the fire, then remove the mob, it's all just going to be like really expensive. It's just not worth it the cost of replacing it it's going to be like almost a grand i reckon also i sent the measurements but it might not be 100 percent straight so they need to come out and template it and that's also quite annoying because that's going to be really expensive for them to come back out i should have just got them to do it that day when they came but it's fine we're just going to get it repaired and in the future we might paint it or try and do something with it because it's not very pretty is it it's a bit like meh anyway whatever and um, we're going to crack on and do a few bits i might ring the studio to find out where he is because he's not normally late yeah um and Jas, you might want to take your um, yeah. dress off. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready to see this room transformed by the end of the day. This is going to be the room that's setting plaster. The setting plaster actually looks horrible on camera. It looks a lot nicer in person, but also when it's sunny because it's a bit of a grey day. 
Jess is doing this. I've got my cousin bring, bringing us some lunch actually and she's collecting all these bits of ply, which is quite good because it saves us trying to dispose of them. And I might start on the undercoat for this actually. Oh, actually, I've been tidying this up today. It was a lot worse. Not that it looks any tidier. I did ask Jess what he thought, but I've filled up like three, two bags of rubbish and one bag of recycling and there's still loads of crap. There's some ply here actually if she wants them as well, Jess. So yeah. come back from my second trip to screw fix today this is like a daily place i visit <laughs> and look at this Jas has done such a good job and i'm about to do the skirting which is going to be so painful so boring but it needs to be done and i brought us coffees because huh, i'm starting to flag now it's like almost 4 30 and we've been here since like 7 30 so yeah, he's going to finish off this bit the and the ceiling as well. And it's going to look so good. This is happening. Start. Just in case my battery dies, I thought I would just show you some of the progress with the skirting. I think it looks so good. I'm really glad that I decided to paint it the same colour as the walls. It's just a bit tricky because actually a roller is not very helpful for this type of skirting because it's got loads of little nooks and crannies. So I'm kind of using a mixture of a brush and then rolling over it because as you may be able to see here, I've put too much paint on and there's not really much I can do about it. So I'm going to hopefully be a pro by the time I've finished the rest of this room. <laughs> oh my God, I've got paint all over my camera and my tripod. I've just been downstairs because the kitchen fitters have now left. I managed to finish off all the skirting before I went down and I've not done the best job. I'm really not a good painter, but I have to say it looks amazing. When I like clean it up, because I've, quite shoddy there isn't it Jess? Right. I'm an idiot because I started right by the front like the entrance to the bedroom door so when you first walk in that's kind of where I started but that's the worst bit because I've gone round the room eventually the bit that will be hidden by the fitted wardrobe that's actually a lot better so for future reference for the other two rooms if I do them I'm going to start behind the bed well I don't know I'll have to do something but I'm going to paint the back of the door now because I'm kind of on a bit of a roll. Once I get into it, I really enjoy painting little things, not like big walls. I absolutely hate that. I'm not very good at it, so you know. But I'm going to paint the back of this door, setting plaster. Ah, scary, but the skirting was scary and I really like how it's turned out. It's a bit dark before it dries, but it does dry down a bit lighter. Let me show you. It's going to be hard to tell because it's now getting quite dark and this is the only light we have but just going to finish off the little edges with a brush because he's basically done the ceiling very risky move but it looks very very good and now i just want to move in i'm just like i'm ready can everyone get out my house can someone move all my stuff in unpack it all make it all look pretty and then i can move in <laughs> but are they going to be able to see on camera? Oh, hey, Viva. No, you can't really tell where I've cocked up the skirting, but mm, this side's not that much better, actually. <laughs> oh, God, there's a little drippy bit there. Oh, actually, I'm definitely going to have to do a second coat. This is what's happening next. 
I want to call my mum actually while I do this because I've just missed a call from her. One other thing that I'm so glad we splurged a little bit more on Farrow and Ball paint because the quality is just unmatched. Yes, it's more than twice the price of Gelux, but I can see why. Like, you use so much less paint. Honestly, I bought, where's it gone? Can you hold it up? A little 750ml tin of wood and metal paint or whatever for the skirting and backs of the doors. I was gonna buy a two and a half litre tin and the lady in home base, oh, sorry. Yeah, how much, you've, you've not even used a third of it. Yeah, I've, I've used like maybe a quarter, I've done all the right, skirting. Right, right. A little bit goes a long way, but not only that, you can actually wash the paint off the brushes because when I've been using the Gelux undercoat and like the actual Gelux wood paint, those brushes are destroyed. There's just no getting that paint off. It's gonna be there forever and I'm constantly repurchasing -pur re brushes. Whereas this, I painted like the stairs black, you know, downstairs the other day and the brush is completely clean, almost as new as I bought it. So, but yeah, we definitely made a good call. We've compromised on a lot of stuff and um, got a lot of cheaper things where we wouldn't that we wouldn't necessarily have bought, but I'm glad that we didn't compromise on the paint because it's just amazing and the quality is just, it's not even about the colors. I know that like they're all trendy on Instagram or whatever, but it's just the quality of the paint is amazing. It's been a few days. I'm literally in the same room, in the same outfit, but it has been a few days. This is now like my dirty top to paint and do stuff in. Look at all these like foundation stains because it's been like really hot. I have washed it. Maybe not since I wet my face on it. Anyway, I realized I forgot to end this vlog. I'm actually just sat here editing this vlog. Sorry, I've got all the windows open because it's like so nice and breezy in this room. This morning, Jess and I bought um, one of our desks from home so we could work here because our internet at home has officially been cut off and it started here as of last Saturday. So this is where we will be for the foreseeable. And it's really nice to kind of just get a feel for like spending a day in the house even though it's super dusty like there's still like ply and tools and paint brushes and sanding machines and all that sort of stuff but it's nice to have a little setup let me quickly show you so i've got my laptop i've got a phone charger we bought a thermos full of coffee phone um like car keys <laughs> pot of water a snack and yeah sorry i'm going off on a complete tangent here but jas has gone to try out a new barber locally while i edit this video and try and upload it from here i've got a few days but i thought i would just try and get something done while he's out anyway i'm gonna end this video here there's a very exciting one coming up next week which i started filming today so keep your eyes peeled for that one thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye